We are talking about all that snow that is on the way, but of course, as we were saying, you can't forget about all that snow that's here already. It's on the ground. It's not going anywhere. It's pretty much mess. And two on your sides, Claudine Ewing is telling us what Buffalo's DPW is doing right now to get ready for all that snow headed our way. Claudine, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you. The mounds of snow that still exists could get bigger if the forecast holds true. And today, City of Buffalo lawmakers had some pointed questions for those overseeing snow removal. The snow appeared to be overwhelming for crews, but city lawmakers were getting calls left and right about unplowed streets and cars blocking roads so plows couldn't do their job. Residents on Academy Road were especially concerned. It's up to the Commissioner Finn. It's Mr. Finn's is the one who we have to complain to a lot. And Brian was doing the best he could with what he had, which was nothing. So we need to do... We need to listen to residents. I know it's all right to have a snow plan, but you need to snow plan sometimes with the residents to see what's going on in the neighborhood. Regarding the snow plan, um, I know he said you guys are inundated with a great deal of work, but I really think that we need to have some type of timeline to where we're gonna get a revised plan. We've had such an outpouring of frustration from people for us to move from this meeting and not to have anything I don't think it's gonna sit well with folks and especially depending on what happens on Thursday. If Thursday is a repeat of what we've had, this is not gonna look good for us. Buffalo's Public Works Commissioner told lawmakers the city's snow plan, as it's written, focuses on an average of 10 inches of snowfall. They're looking for additional ways to operate with above average snowfalls. For Most Buffalo, Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.